Let's work out problem number 35. Find all solutions to the following equation. So the equation is x cubed minus 27 equals 0. To do this problem, we can use the difference of cubes formula. We can write this as x cubed minus 3 cubed. And that's equal to 0. So I'm going to write the difference of cubes formula right below this so you see it. It says if you have a cubed minus b cubed, you keep the sign, so it's a minus b, and then you switch the sign. So a squared plus ab, and it's always a plus at the end. Okay, so that's the formula for the difference of cubes. So you keep the sign, switch the sign. If it was a plus here, it'd be plus here and minus here. Okay, so we have x cubed minus 3 cubed equals 0. That's the same thing. Let's see, a is x and b is 3. So it'd be x minus 3, right, because a is x and b is 3. And then it would be x squared. That's your a squared. And then ab, so plus 3x. And then b squared is 9. And this is equal to 0. So we have a product equal to 0, so we can set each piece equal to 0. So x minus 3 is equal to 0, or x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. The first one is really easy to solve. We get x equals 3. Boom. That's one of the answers. For this one, we can do it a couple ways. We can complete the square. Uh, we can use the quadratic formula. Let's go with the quadratic formula. I feel like that might be a good bet. So a is 1, b is 3, and c is 9. And the quadratic formula says that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So x will be equal to, let's see, b is 3, so this is going to be negative 3 plus or minus square root b squared. So it's going to be 9 minus 4ac, right? Yeah, ac, 1, 9, looks okay. All over 2a, 2 times 1. So x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus, this is going to be 9 minus 36, okay? So 9 minus 36 is negative 27, right? 9 minus 36 is negative 27, all over 2. This is negative 3 plus or minus i square root 27, right? Because the negative gives you an i. And then we have to see if we can simplify this just a little bit more. Um, you want to think of uh, the square root of 27 as 9 times 3. So this is negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared of 3 over 2. The question you ask yourself to get this is, what's the, what's the largest factor of 27 that's a perfect square? In other words, what's the largest factor of 27 that when you take the square root, you get a whole number, so 9? Um, so you can write this as negative 3. Oh, I forgot the i. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> plus or minus i 3 squared of 3 over 2. That looks kind of weird, um, so another way to write it would be like this. Negative 3 plus or minus 3i squared of 3. It looks a little better over 2. So that's two of our answers, and the other answer was 3. So that's all three answers. I hope that made sense.